I'm Star, and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starbright 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back, and if you are new, welcome, come on in. So today is our Sunday fun day. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, and um, it's a hot one here today. It's about 10 o'clock a.m., and I'm already sweating. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just wanted to show you... Uh, my uh, Sheba girl here, she is done. So I'm so happy about that. Uh, this one is a 50 by 60. It came from Timu and it was a custom diamond painting. It has 32 colors and and yeah, overall it wasn't too bad to do. Um, I do have some popping of some of the drills, but I wasn't sure about this color here and how it was all going to blend in, but it doesn't look bad at all. At least I don't think so. What do you guys think? It is a little bit red, kind of a pinkish red here, but I think it just kind of blends in with the flowers. And yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. She's got a beautiful shine to her. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't sealed her or anything. I just completed her yesterday. But... That is my Sheba. So she has been, she, I did her for Diamond Grandma and Diamond Nana's event this month for Feline Love 24. I also did her for Diamonds by Tita's event, uh, Fabulous Flowers, as you can see all those beautiful flowers down there. <laughs> Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I did her for Paint with Friends um, and it's true True Vampire Craft that was hosting that this month and she chose animals and I completed her for DP um, Bewitch Cat and Share or Shine as uh, this month uh, they had Jungle. So like I said I'm very happy that I had a canvas that I could use for most of the events. Was working on another one but I haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> with my burger oh dear so I'm gonna have to work on that at some point um, this week though I'm going to really work on my flag because I really wanted to get it done for um, July 1st see how long uh, it will take take me to do but today we are going to continue working on here's my little girl here my little native girl um, I'm just going to read this real quick. Uh, it is our card of the day, and today it says, Hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love, his redemption overflows. Psalms 130, verse 7. So that is our verse for today. I just want to thank everyone for joining us yesterday. It was uh, so much fun. My husband and I were so hot though afterwards. <laughs> we went and sat outside and there was such a nice breeze out there. And it was just like at the right temperature. So we relaxed out there and the pups got to run around. And then we came inside and we had a piece of raspberry cheesecake. It was absolutely um, delicious. It didn't set all the way though, unfortunately. I guess they had, uh, it was still warm when my husband picked it up. By the time we got home and got transferred into our other fridge there, um, oh my, it was uh, kind of, it was kind of all, run, not runny, but you know, it was like a mousse almost. But boy, was it good. I, I didn't mind it at all. So yeah, it was really, really, really nice. Um, and then I just worked on my Sheba yesterday, really, because I wanted to get her done. And uh, that's basically what I did yesterday. And then we had our little nice, a really nice supper. And we ordered it from a little restaurant here in town. And so... Yeah, it was really, really nice. Number two. Yeah. I think we finished the ones. So now we're on to number two. Oh, I see some more ones. Oh, well. We're going to do twos. <laughs> oh, I am uh, involved in... Well, I don't know if involved, but um, a lady reached out to me and asked if I had anything to donate uh, for her her father's funeral um they're trying to raise money so she's doing an auction 
And I said, yes, I said, I have lots of little things I can donate. So um, this week, too, I'll be busy with doing um, these little off the canvas projects to send to her. I would like to send her box out by July 1st. Um, oh, we had two winners yesterday, too, guys. Um, so please make sure you check my post. And if you are one of the winners, could you please contact me? I have my email always is in my description along with my Facebook. So you can contact me either way. And um, so we can make arrangements to get that out. But B. doesn't make any popping sound <laughs> oh, I hope you can see that okay and I'm oh I heard that there was some really bad tornadoes that hit uh, Wisconsin was it Wisconsin yesterday so prayers and thoughts go to them and if you guys are still in this heat wave, please keep cool. I do know that uh, one of our RV family here, she she left me a message and said she had her power out because of the heat. So please just be prepared for that as well because, I mean, I guess you could go sit in your car to cool off, but how long do you have your car running for? <laughs> Take a nice long drive? I don't know. But I know for us here, if our power went out and if there was no breeze and it was really, really hot, our little RV here would probably get cooked. Or we would get cooked. <laughs> so I don't even want to think of that. But uh, we do have a nice building here that we could go to, though. And um, it's all made of cement. It's our little safe haven, I guess, if you want to call it. It's a lounge. It's a laundry room got bathrooms <laughs> so yeah okay come on I'm trying to use up the rest of my wax here so it looks pretty beat up <laughs> but I want to get it used up before I start on the fresh one so oops Okay, go on there. There we go. Didn't want to stick. I really haven't done too much off canvas um, things, so I've done some keychains and of course I've done coasters. But really other than that I haven't done too much. Got, I've got a lot of projects I could do. <laughs> oh, I've done some uh, sun catchers for different companies. So, I got some uh, more PR packages to review, so I'm excited about that. Um, I've had um, one company for a very long time. Um, what happened was they sent me the wrong diamond painting. And so when I contacted them, I said, oh, by the way, you sent me the wrong diamond painting. I says, I have no problem to review it, but could you just give me the info on this diamond painting? So then the company wrote back and said, oh, no, we sent you the right one. But can you please take pictures of what you got? I'm like, okay. So I said, well, here are the pictures. It's a totally different picture than or a totally different diamond painting than what I chose. Um, and anyway, so it took forever for them to respond back and he says, I'm sorry, uh, for some reason your email went into our junk mail. I'm like, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, I said, and he says, well, he says, uh, could you please resend? Uh, we didn't receive your pictures. And I'm like, well, my email it looks like you received my pictures, but anyway, so okay, fine, I resent. And um, 
that was like three weeks ago maybe longer so I thought well maybe they have lost it so I'm going to start a whole new email uh, because when you're writing back and forth to these companies they just use one email and you get kind of lost in the emails at least I do so I wrote them a, a totally new um, email and I still have not heard back from them so I'm not sure what to do if I should just review the diamond painting that I got and just say well you know I uh, don't have any info on it but here you go <laughs> and uh, promote the company or because I'm not really happy with their customer service to be honest with you and so I'm not sure um, but they got beautiful diamond paintings on their site and I do know that it's one of Diamond Grandma's favorite. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have not had very much luck with their um, customer service department. So, I'm not sure. But this little girl here, she comes from Timu. I think she was like six bucks or something. Or knowing me, I probably got it on some kind of a lightning deal or some kind of special. Um, I can't see myself paying six dollars so either that or I had a coupon that I could use to get a certain amount off but she's just a darling she's from the uh, precious moments collection and she does have a stand so she'll be signing up and I'll be sending this one to for the benefit for them to to sell in their auction hopefully they'll get a couple bucks for her yeah. My husband always says, a couple bucks is better than no bucks. <laughs> I always say, yep, absolutely. So. But yeah, other than that, I just don't know. I'm not too much to talk about. I think we talked about everything yesterday. <laughs> uh, I'm not... I love talking, but... Um, when it comes to thinking of things to say, it's like, hmm, like if I'm do having a conversation with someone, no problem. Uh, I could talk your ear off, but uh, just to come up with things to say. I need my husband here and he could tell you guys a story. He's a good story writer. Hey, 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 don't do that. Oh yeah, you get him, Ollie. Yeah. One of my cats was trying to get a f moth or something that's flying around and was onto our blinds and yeah he's already wrecked our screen door really bad in our RV um, ripped it all to shreds that's silver moon silver moon likes to dig his claws into everything and we've had scratching pads for him and I just don't know he just likes to use our stuff to do his scratching on it's crazy but, oh yeah, I was going to say, so my husband, yeah, he's so, he likes to tell stories, so, so I should have, I should have him write, maybe I'll get him to write us a little story and I can read it next week or something. <laughs> See what kind of story he, he could come up with for us. But he's, he's really good at his writing and he spends hours writing. I think he's fooling around with some kind of an AI program. Uh. He puts in a couple words or whatever and it writes it for him. I said, that's cheating. <laughs> but I don't know if he's just getting his ideas from that. I think so. He says, I'm just playing around with it. So. Like, yeah. There's my ice machine. I don't know if you can hear it. It's making ice. I'm going to have some nice cold, cold brev beverage. the twos and the twos. Is there any more twos? Well, I hope you can see that. I guess I should always be watching my camera, shouldn't I? There. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're probably thinking, Star, what are you doing? And I, I'm probably thinking the same thing. But I don't think I see any more twos, at least not for the time being. He's so cute. Oh, I 
I guess we should go on to number threes. Oh, I got ones. Let's do ones. Because I see a lot of ones I missed. some blues in here mixed in. I don't remember if last week I was telling you about what happened to when I opened the one package. I guess there was a hole in it and I didn't realize it and I was shaking. I usually shake the packages to move all the drills down to open. And so I just was giving it a shake, not paying attention, and diamonds were flying everywhere. Um, <laughs> I guess there was a hole in the bag. I had Pixie sitting beside me, and she was covered in them. So I did my best to pick up all the uh, ones I could see. And so I hope I have enough ones to to uh, finish her, cause, or to put on her. Um, if not, I'm going to have to change some colors around. Which is fine because, you know, this is mine. If I, w if I don't want it to be white and I want it to be blue, she's going to be blue. <laughs> oh. I woke up this morning and my eyes are just um, watering and uh, it's almost like I got something like dust or something stuck in them so then they're just all red and so that's the reason why I just um, you know I could have worn sunglasses and said hey good morning <laughs> but uh, but yeah it's like it's continually watering and uh, yeah. It's awful. So I don't know if I got some dust into it last night or what, but maybe. I don't think I have allergies. At least I've never had allergies, so I don't think it's from that. I think it just something got into my eye yesterday and or last night. And it's had to work its way out and uh yeah. But it's all red. So who is looking forward to the summer months? And uh, anyone going on vacation? I guess most of the kids are out from school now. I know um, my grandson is done and he'll be going into grade one next year and my granddaughter's homeschooled but she doesn't they don't um they don't do school with her during the uh, summer months so she's off for the summer months Kids are probably so excited to be out of school. I remember when I was in school, I was so excited for when summer holidays started. We never really went anywhere. Um, my dad always had to stay and take care of the uh, of the farm. Um, I went to see where did I travel with my family? So we would go to uh, North Dakota uh, at least once a year. Um, that was our little vacation for a weekend. And of course, we got to swim in the pool, and we got to go shopping. <laughs> got to go eat out at restaurants, so that was nice. Um, I went to, let's see, I went to um, Brantford with my mom. We went, and then we went down 
uh, to Niagara Falls. Uh, she, all her family was from is from there. I uh, still have still have relatives over in Brantford, Ontario. It's close to Toronto. Um, so, but that's where my mother grew up, and. They have a really unique story of how they met. So my mom and dad, of course my dad being from uh, Manitoba and my mom being from close to Toronto area, that's quite a far distance apart. But anyway, um, they were both going to Calgary and they met up on a train. And what happened was... Uh, my mom had a seat all to herself and she didn't want anyone to sit down beside her <laughs> and so I, I don't know if she had her purse or whatever bags on the other seat anyway the chain got full and all of a sudden here comes this guy onto the chain and I was like um, can I have your can I sit down beside you <laughs> anyway so that's how they met was on this uh, train trip from Winnipeg to uh, Calgary. That was such a cute story. And so, yeah, they exchanged phone numbers and, or no, sorry, they exchanged addresses. And um, so I guess my dad must have wrote my mom or whatever. And he did, never thought that he would hear back, but he did. She wrote him back. And yeah, that's what started their little. Uh, love affair and uh, they got married they were married for uh, 50 some years I think I think it was just over 50 years until she passed so it's such a blessing to have you know to be married that long to one person <laughs> uh, I know if I would have met my husband now, I definitely would have, uh, back when, when I was younger, I probably definitely would have, we would probably been going on to our, uh, 30th wedding anniversary or something like that. But that wasn't in God's plans, and, oh, we got a big chopper coming through. I don't know if you can hear that, but we got... And hear a helicopter, and so can Ollie. <laughs> Ollie's like, Mom, do you hear that? That's a loud one. Oh my goodness. Must be flying low. I noticed that the, the, um, there's quite a few choppers that fly by here. I always wonder what they're looking for. But this sounds like a bunch of them. Could be army. Yeah, it sounded like there was a couple of them flying. I mean, we are very close to the uh, Mexican border. Um, or, yeah, Mexico border. And... I think sometimes I fly around to see, to make sure nobody's trying to walk, walk in. Um, you know the ones that try to sneak across the border, and because it's so hot, I think they would. Uh, so I think they make their trips around to make sure there's nobody out there in the desert walking. Because yeah, I don't think they would survive very long in this heat. And they come over with nothing, absolutely nothing. I've watched um, some YouTube channels or some documentaries or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a guy called J.R. Investigation. And I like watching him. He's based, well, he's originally, I think, from Florida. But um, he goes along the border and he actually will say exactly what's going on over there and he films it and uh sometimes he'll be live so i like trying to catch his live but uh 
but he shows all the ones coming across and he says yeah they they have nothing and what they do have they leave behind because they're they're told that the US will give them whatever they want so I mean they just they're obviously being lied to so I know for me it wasn't that easy here I mean I couldn't just walk across the border and say you know yeah just give me whatever <laughs> you know I had to uh, well first of all I had to have someone to sponsor me to stay here of course, my husband, but yeah, you can't just, you know, I guess seeking asylum might be a little bit different. I don't know, but because I do know that's what these people do is seek asylum or that's what they're coming across for is seeking asylum. And then their court dates are years from uh, when they come in. I, he was talking to one gentleman and he says, yeah, his court date's like in 2020 or 20, 2010. I'm like, geez, that's a long way, way away. How come it's, it takes so long to do a court date? But I guess there's just so many of them that it's going to take that long. In the meantime, you can't work. You can't do anything like crazy. You know, and a lot of these are men that are coming across. And, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of crazy to me. A lot, a lot of men. And a lot of them aren't even, they're not even from Mexico. Um, very few are actually from Mexico. A lot of them come from uh, other countries, and I was actually shocked to see how many were coming from that come from China and that also come from um, Russia area. Not actually right in Russia, but like the surrounding area. So I guess European um, countries. Uh, like Georgia and I'm not even sure if they're called European countries but anyway from Georgia and those areas there and I don't know how running to Canada makes a difference or running to Canada running to the states makes such a big thing I mean you gotta save up so much money then you have such a long trek because they get dropped off in Mexico and then of course have to travel all through Mexico and then there's some that even come through Panama and so, so dangerous over there. And then they have to pay so much just to get to the U.S. border. And I thought, that's just ridiculous. There was someone that was saying they spent over $5,000 just to get from, uh, I think this gentleman was from Africa. He said from Africa all the way. Uh, and that was not even including the plane ticket. That was just including... Um, his travels from Panama up through uh, to get here to the States and he says that the cartel apparently take a lot of their money <clears throat> basically they got to pay the cartel to for them to get up here to the border and yeah so that's just crazy I mean like I said I have no idea what they're running from and I just know they pay a crazy amount and those people over there are. and they get here and been you know are told that oh yeah you, you know you'll get housing you'll get this oh Biden is gonna take care of us one guy said like mm, yeah I don't think so oh yeah but he was like so happy to be in the US of A he said and he was like going on and on how the government's just gonna take care of him and yeah it's just unbelievable so anyway yeah I don't know how I got on that topic but uh, JR investigation that's what his that's what his name is 
Oh yeah, from the helicopter that was flying overhead. <laughs> it's like, how did I even get on that topic? But yeah. Yeah, this desert is not something that you would want to wander through, that's for sure. Because it is hot here. I can't imagine walking in the, with the sun beating down on you like that. A hundred and some temperatures and walking through a dry desert. Ugh. No, thank you. Oh, with snakes and scorpions and <laughs> who knows what else out there. I don't even want to know. I always said I was never going to live in a place that had snakes and here I am. New Mexico, where there are snakes, rattlesnakes, and kink snakes, and probably a whole bunch of other types of snakes I don't even want to know about. <laughs> uh, I've never seen one, though. Uh, so, I'm so thankful for that. Because I don't know what I would do. Probably scream and run away. Scream, run away, or, or if I had my pup with me, then I would definitely uh, pick her up real quick, or pick him up real quick, and run. <laughs> uh, usually they they don't do anything. I, I'm talking about the snakes. They'll do their rattling of their tails. They say, I mean, if you get too close, of course they're gonna snap at you. But they're hot. They're sunbathing. They're doing what snakes do, and unless they're really hungry, they're not gonna come for you. So, <laughs> but ooh, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, but usually they're curled up in a ball sleeping somewhere in the heat. But plus we have our trailer on the gravel, and snakes don't really like to go on gravel unless they're shedding their skin just to get their skin off. But in general, they don't care for it. Uh, they do live in a lot of the rocky areas, but when it comes to the little pebbles and stuff, they don't really care to slither along that um, on their skin. Because it, it can cut them up, the little pebbles and stones. So they, they, they like the grassy areas more. So I'm very satisfied to stay out of the tree area here. <laughs> and stay right here up on the gravel where, yeah, we don't uh, see very many of those critters. Um, my husband has seen the snake. And he's also seen uh, tarantula. But I have not seen any of them. Thankfully. We used to get these big dock spiders back home and those things were ugly and yucky and ugh. Um, very rarely did they bite. They were just called dock spiders, but they were huge. They would be like, their bodies alone would be like almost this big. And yeah. They lived under the docks. As to why they're called dock spiders. <laughs> But yeah. Oh, so I'm not sure. So I think I'm just going to continue working on her today. I might take up my Canadian flag and work on it. Or I might just give my day a, a day of rest. It is Sunday. God rested. I think I need to rest. <laughs> uh, so... Might have a nice nap this afternoon. Uh, try to wash out my eye, because like I said, maybe I got soap in it. I'm not sure. Got something in it, and it's uh, really bothering me. So, gonna have a take a look at that and see if I can rinse it out with water or something. I don't know if you've ever had such an itchy eye and you just can't get the itch out of it. So you just keep rubbing and rubbing it, and before you know it, your eye looks like. You know, you've been crying for days and days. <laughs> uh, I just do not like that feeling. But that's kind of what it feels like. But I have some visine here that I'm going to squirt in my eye and see if that takes care of the problem. But I'm just going to finish this little bit of fours here. And then I think we're done for today.
You'll hear my husband. I think he's just starting to wake up now. It's get, like I said, it is getting pretty warm in here. So back in the bedroom, because we don't have an air conditioner back there, it gets hot. And um, <laughs> he's probably thinking, what the heck? Because I turned the air rate down too low. So he's probably not getting much at all back there, or if nothing, probably. Now, the main air conditioner we have in our RV is supposed to cool off the whole area, but it doesn't. And uh, we need to buy a little one for the bedroom, but it cools off nice at night. But let me tell you, by the morning and the sun hitting, it does not take long to heat up, so... Alrighty, I think we're almost done here with the floors, at least down in this section. So I just want to say a special thank you again to all the ladies that put on uh, the events for this month. I enjoyed working on Sheba, and I will be posting her up in the Facebook groups and community posts uh, that I need to. Um, but yeah, so just thank you all very much. If you guys haven't checked out their channels yet, make sure you go check them out. I'll have them linked in my description. And thank you for joining me today. So we got her getting there. We got all the silver. We're getting some gold now put on her. She's nice and sparkly. She's just so cute. So I'll probably end up fin finishing her off today and then work on maybe some more keychains. Um, but other than that, I'm just, yeah, I'm going to take it easy today, I think. Alrighty, so I think she's looking really, really good. I'm going to just continue working on her. And I think I've been talking long enough. <laughs> I am going to go and I'm going to clean out my eye to see what's wrong with it. And then I'm going to, maybe, I'll put out the awning and take myself a nice cold drink out there. The sun should be high enough by now that it will be shaded in that area. And um, go sit outside for a bit and enjoy... Uh, and enjoy the outdoors. I'm not going to do any walking or anything, and if I get too hot, of course, I can just run back in here where it's nice and cool. And that's another thing. I need to start my fan. I need to start my air conditioner because it is getting pretty warm in here. So from my home to yours, I hope you have a most wonderful day. And as always, God's richest blessings. i see you on the next one.